Salams and welcome. Today we're going to talk about this fabulous concept of Ikra, which you find in the Quran. I don't know if I should do this this way, yeah? Ikra, which is read, recite, proclaim, revise, announce. Ikra. Ikra. And the first verse was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The angel Jibreel alayhi salam said, Ikra. That's how the Quran st starts, at least not that's how the Quran starts, at the first revelation. And it has been placed in chapter 96, verse number 1. That's the Holy Quran. It is a source of light and nur and knowledge and wisdom. Why? Because the Supreme Creator, the Creator Supreme of the heavens and the earth, there's only one Creator Supreme. That Creator Supreme has created the heavens, has created the earth, has created the sun, has created the moon, has created Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, the, uh, the clouds, the asteroids, the comets, the mountains, the water. That Supreme Creator has got infinite knowledge. That Supreme Creator has got infinite wisdom. That Supreme Creator has got knowledge of everything. That if, you, if all the trees on earth were pens and the ocean was ink, never would be exhausted the words of your Lord, even if you added another ocean or even another seven oceans. SubhanAllah. So the Quran, the Creator Supreme, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so merciful. He did not give us millions of volumes of books because his knowledge is not even millions, not even trillions, quadrillions. We cannot measure it. Infinite knowledge, infinite knowledge. He could have given us millions of books to read. He only gave us one small book. But the knowledge in that book is so powerful that you've got to read it over and over and over again. But the first lesson that he gave, read. So please teach your children to read. Teach your grandchildren to read. You must read to them. Read to them storybooks. You know, Alhamdulillah, when my son was born, he was only a month old and I bought thick storybooks already. I was starting to read to him and the people were laughing at me. See, he doesn't understand. I say, it doesn't matter because I know how the brain works. That baby can be sleeping, but you just read. Sing songs to him. Recite Darud to him. Even when you're pregnant, the pregnant mother must recite Darud. Talk to the baby because in the womb, the baby is listening to the mother's voice. The brain is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So please don't forget this lesson, which is lesson number... Lesson. This is lesson number 37, brain lesson number 37. The Holy Quran instructs all of us to read. So please take that as a lesson, put it into your life. Read, 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 read. And once again, please remember that uh, I've got spinal disability. I spend 20 hours in bed. So excuse my shortcomings in the way I talk or sometimes the way I look. And I'm 20 hours in bed. Okay. So I need your encouragement. I need your support. So please uh, subscribe, comment, like, share. Tell me your comments. I would like to hear from you. How, what suggestions have you got for me? How can I cope with being 20 hours in quarantine? Any suggestions? If you don't have any suggestions, at least just give me a like. Give me a, I'm giving you so many hearts. Look how many hearts I'm giving you. I'm giving you so many hearts. So send me some hearts. Give me encouragement. Give me some support so at least I can carry on. Okay. I don't want your money. I just want your support. That is all that I want. That is all that I want. Stay well, look after yourself, read, tell your children to read, tell grandchildren to read, and you mustn't forget to read, okay? You must get into the habit of reading. As I explained before, you've got to do with dendrites, you've got to do with intelligence, you must read, okay?